good morning one and all and warm welcome our byk college online lecture series today i start our bookkeeping and accountancy fifth chapter last two chapters all of you learn that what's the meaning of reconstitution of partnership in that chapter all of you learn yes remember in which chapter first one admission of partner and second one yes retirement of partner myself mrs sheetal kavira jada teacher of bbk college i am your accounts teacher this is our first lecture that means 5.1 means fifth chapters first lecture in the last video last chapter and second last chapter teacher taught you what's the meaning of reconstitution yes anybody tell me what's the meaning of reconstitution yes kuch yaad hai yes change yes change the relation between the partners yeah so that means reconstitute means what change the relation between the partners so for why the change the relation between so that means this is the four reason this is the modes of reconstitution of partnership firm first one may be change in the profit sharing ratio among the existing partners ya may be admission of a new partner that means one partner has a admitted so automatically change the relation between the partners so that means if in that partnership two two partners if that partners admit a new partners so automatically that profit sharing ratio also the change relation between the change retirement of an existing partner retirement means if one partner take a retirement voluntary retirement yeah maybe that's the legal retirement so that's the reason also the reconstitute of the partnership form and the next one is the death of partner so all of you yes understood samajh mein aa raha hai kaun sa chapter abhi start karne wali hu yes death of partner death of partner so that means a partnership dissolve by the death of any member may be two partner and what partner has a death so automatically that partnership form will be dissolve dissolve means close down okay but may be this is the important rules okay i explain you then after in this chapter this is the portion and yeah, this is the contents of this chapter first one what is the meaning of death of partner new profit sharing ratio gain ratio revaluation of assets and liabilities amount due to deceased partners executor settlement of amount due and accounting treatment this is all the portion of this chapter so that means we will be see one by one first important thing is the meaning of the death of partner death of partner means what when a partner die the partnership is dissolved because the original association has changed normally the books are closed and financial statements are prepared to determine the capital balance 
ऑफ ईच पार्टनर ऑन द डेट ऑफ डेथ यानी कि डेट ऑफ डेथ ऑफ पार्टनर में क्या हो जाता है इफ टू पार्टनर पार्टनरशिप में कितने पार्टनर है दो पार्टनर से उसमें से अगर एक पार्टनर के क्या हो गई है डेथ हो गई है तो क्या हो जाता है नॉर्मली पार्टनरशिप क्लोज हो जाती है पार्टनरशिप फॉर्म को क्या करते हैं डिजोल्व करते हैं मींस क्लोज डाउन करते हैं इन दैट टाइम इन दैट सिचुएशन और क्या हो जाता है बुक्स आर क्लोज फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट्स आर प्रिपेयर डिटरमाइन द कैपिटल बैलेंस जो भी बैलेंसेस है वो क्या किया जाता है उनको डिस्ट्रीब्यूट किया जाता है After the the date of the partner, the remaining partners may be purchased the diseased equity, या मे बी सेल इट सेल इट आउट आउटसाइडर जो भी इक्विटी है क्या किया जाता है अदर पार्टनर्स अगर है रिमेनिंग पार्टनर्स वो क्या करते हैं परचेज करते हैं या मे बी सेल आउट करते हैं आउटसाइडर को और डिलीवर सर्जन बिजनेस एसेट्स to the estate of the deceased partners if the firm intends to continue ye important point hai agar unhone do partner mein se ek partner death ho gaya to dissolve karte hain ya may be jo abhi main aapko rule bataungi ye bahut important this is the actually theoretical part but may be firm intends to continue a new partnership must be formed अगर थ्री पार्टनर्स में से एक पार्टनर का डेथ हो गया तो क्या कर सकते हैं मे बी दो पार्टनर्स उसको कंटिन्यू करते हैं ओके लेकिन उसके और भी कुछ रूल्स है सी है मीनिंग ऑफ द डेथ ऑफ पार्टनर एक पार्टनर विल सीस या स्टॉप या डिसकंटिन्यू टू बी पार्टनर ऑन हिज डेथ अनहेंस्ड Death is considered as a compulsory retirement. समझ में आ रहा है अगर पार्टनरशिप में क्या हुआ है पार्टनर ऑन हिज डेथ डेथ होने के बाद उसको क्या किया जाता है दैट पार्टनरशिप या दैट डेथ इज कंसिडर एज ए कंपल्सरी रिटायरमेंट या मे बी Stop या discontinue the partnership form, but maybe partnership business may be continued by surviving partners if partnership form makes provision in partnership deed. मगर in case into that partnership deed, partnership deed means what's the partnership deed? It's a Yes, it's a. In the first chapter, all of you learned that. What's the meaning of partnership deed? Partnership deed is a agreement. Yeah, it is a important documents. Okay, and the partnership concerning the among the partner. That means this is the agreement. This is the conditions. This is the terms and conditions related to the partnership form related to that partners. Okay, so these partnership deed, yeah, into that partnership deed may be mentioned section forty two of the Indian Partnership Act, yes, nineteen thirty two. The partnership need not be dissolved. It is a expressly mentioned in the partnership deed that remaining partners can continue the firm business iska meaning samajh mein aaya agar partnership deed jo agreement banaya hai partners ne jo written hai ya may be orally rehta hai partnership deed all of you learn that okay so in that partnership deed if mentioned there so that remaining partners can continue the firm's business yani ki isme se koi ek partner ki death ho gayi hai lekin agar partnership deed mein mention kiya hai to kya ho jata hai partnership firm ko continue kiya jata hai that means continue the firm's business 
remember. Partners make arrangement to settle account of deceased partner with his legal representative. Representative, so that means the nominee of that death partners, yeah, legal heir. Maybe appoint that as a legal representative who will be entitled at their choice at interest at 6% per annum on amount due, remember, from date of date to date of payment. Okay. But on other hand, if one of the two partners of a firm die, the firm automatically comes to an end. Correct, hai na? Jaise ki do partners the, usme se death ho gaya. So, kya hua? Automatically comes to an end. Okay. But, actually this is the theoretical part, but this is the general knowledge. Remember. Yes. Listen carefully. When there are only two partners in a firm. On the death of one partner, the firm is deemed to be dissolved despite, despite the existing of any clause which says otherwise, in other words say, in a partnership firm of two partners, when one of the partners die, then partnership automatically dissolve. Even if the deed, that means partnership deed, partnership was made clearly instructed to appoint the heir of the disease as a new partner. And if agar clearly partnership deed mein unhone mention kiya hai, Unhone instructed it to appoint the heir. Unhone ki heir. Heir means the legal representative of that person, that death of the partners. So, as per the wishes of the direction of the deceased partner, the surviving partner may enter into a new partnership with the heir of the deceased partner. But, the would constitute create a new partnership. Sabin me aya? Mene kya bula bhi? Hmm? Thik hai? Partners make arrangements to settle account of disease partner with his legal representative. In case of nominee or legal representative join the partnership instead of the disease partner with the presumption that the partnership was never dissolved on the death of that partner. Samaj mein aya? Yane ki, is mein kya samaj mein aya aapko? Yes, agar one partner death hua hai, in case of unhone apna koi nominee, that legal representative ka point kiya hai, so, that person join the partnership instead of that disease, their death of partner. Okay, so in that time, never dissolve, never stop on that business, never stop on that firm. Is it clear now? Yes, the above legal position in based on two assumptions. Two assumptions means first one, there are more than two partners in the firm. More than two partners. The legal representative are interested. Ye bhi important hai. Yani ki, three partners may say ek death hua hai, lekin baha par kitne chahiye? More than two partners chahiye. To ye possible hai, assumption hai. Ya legal jo representative hai, legal hair jo hai, nominee hai. वो क्या होना चाहिए? Interested होना चाहिए. So legal representative are interested in taking forward the business of the firm. तो ही ये सब कुछ situation में क्या होता है? Possible होगा. 
बिजनेस को कंटिन्यू किया जाएगा डिजॉल्व नहीं किया जाएगा समझ में आया यस दिस इज द इम्पॉर्टेंट पॉइंट दिस इज द इम्पॉर्टेंट नॉलेज रिलेटेड टू द डेथ ऑफ पार्टनर इन दिस चैप्टर ऑल्सो दू रेशो फर्स्ट वन न्यू प्रॉफिट शेयरिंग रेशो एंड सेकेंड वन इज द गेन रेशो और बेनिफिट रेशो What's the meaning of new profit sharing ratio? On death of partner, profit sharing ratio of remaining partners changes. First point, and second one, profit sharing ratio of remaining partners increases because profit sharing of deceased partner gets dividend and received by remaining part. Second ratio is the gain ratio. That is also called the benefit ratio. Remember, gaining ratio is a financial tool that helps to measure the proportion in which a firm's remaining partners acquire the retiring partner or deceased partner shares. it can also be described as the difference between the old profit sharing ratio and new profit sharing ratio of partners yani ki isme kya difference ya fir how to describe isme difference between dono mein se difference nikala jata hai new ratio and old ratio okay benefit or gain ratio is a ratio by which surviving partners are benefited due to death of partner so this is the extra share which they are getting is added in their old share such a extra share which they are getting is called as gain and the ratio is called gain ratio this ratio is normally used kahan par use kiya jayega normally jada tar when the goodwill write off if you are given in the adjustment goodwill write off so in that time you find out the gain ratio ya benefit ratio remember so how to calculate this is the formula of gain ratios remember gain ratio is equal to new ratio minus old ratio samajh mein aaya new ratio mein se kya karna hai usko deduct karna hai old ratio ko so how to calculate remember just example for example x y and z are partners sharing profit and losses in the ratio of 4 is to 3 is to 2 this is the ratio y die so now who is the remaining partner x and z share in future profits equally this is the just simple example so how to, how to calculate the gain ratio first one you find out the old ratio old ratio that means x y and z ratio 4 is to 3 is to 2 that means 4 9 3 9 2 this is the old ratio and what's the new ratio new ratio only two partners that means x and z 1 is to 1 means equally here it is given in the problem future profits equally so that means new ratio is the 1 is to 1 okay how to calculate gain ratio is equal to new ratio minus old ratio for example here it is y die that means who is the remaining partner x and z x gain ratio yeah x gain is equal to new ratio means here it is given 1 is to 1 means 1 second 1 upon 2 minus 4 upon 9 so that means 
1 upon 18. 1 18th is the x new gain ratio. And z's gain again same equally. So that means 1 upon 2 minus 2 upon 9. This is the old ratio. This is the new ratio. So that means 5 18th. 5 upon 18th is the gain ratio. So that means gain ratio of x and z is the 1 is to 5. So this is just an example I have told you. When we solve the problem, so in that time again I explain you G tag. All of you understood? Yes? Remember the formulas. Hmm? So in the next video, I continue. Next point, so that means how to calculate. Yeah, what is the difference between in this chapter admission and retirement? In this chapter is important when you calculate the goodwill. In the last chapter, yeah, last to last chapter, you transfer, yeah, you transfer that goodwill to all the partners. That means sacrifice ratio, yeah, gain ratio. Yeah, uh, when we the return write off, but here it is we calculate the that partners that partners uh, part of that goodwill yeah what's a part of that profit okay so in the next video next lecture i to be continue same how to calculate goodwill and how to calculate that partners part of the profit okay yes okay thank you very much okay Goodbye. Okay, Next one. Then.